Faculty of Arts, Design and Architecture is Michael Bullock, who is looking at market values. How does a second-hand market gather and assemble things? Where might objects originate and where might they end up? What is the story of circulation that lies in between this beginning and end? Importantly, how, as an artist, can I imagine this journey? Market values ask how encounters with materials and forms found in a second-hand market based in the western suburbs of Melbourne can influence and instigate an artistic practice in sculpture. In an age where the exchange of goods is characterised by global commerce, global logistics and, and virtual commerce, the second-hand market presents as an almost nostalgic display of trade. Used objects are gathered, dispersed and circulated for cash, trash and treasure. A market is a meeting place, a specific location, but in this vast panorama of people and stuff from everywhere, an imaginative possibility is generated, usually in a moment, creating a collage of layered histories and distant landscapes with obsolete technology and tools, unwanted keepsakes and souvenirs, salvaged material and exotic plants and foods. Indeed, in this internet age, art theorists have compared contemporary art practice to shopping in an open air bazaar. Artists can now glean to rummage over the data of culture and history to rescue or discard. From this place though, I observe, select and curate my lexicon of materials. Brass hardware and figurines, bronze pennies and coins, lead fishing sinkers combined with weathered plywood, masonite and shards of concrete aggregate. These handled objects I partner with the crafts of sculpture and the ideas of the handmade. These ideas of, these ideas of making, of assembling, joining and arranging help form the most unique bond that art can make to form a likeness to a real world. These objects, their uneasy circulation through time and space is a story of lives, the lives of things and us, the people who use them. Thank you.